Ho! What is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and welcome to Time is Solid here. This is a little game over on itch.io, but I am seeing some fantastic, fantastic reviews for this so far. So I figured I'd check it out. I think it's made in RPG Maker, if I'm not mistaken, and it uses a lot of... Yeah, this looks like RPG Maker. Uses a lot of uh, AI-generated art as well. A you Chicago critical video game studies game. Concept by Luke, Hemming, Dylan, and Avery. Okay, so we got some uh, intro credits, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, Open Gan is the uh, AI generated art stuff. But this is under the horror tag. Content warning features sudden and disturbing imagery, sound, domestic abuse, and violence. Okay, content warning for those who want to make sure you're aware of that. You don't know where or who you are. Dot, dot, dot. However, a small voice begins to call to you from within. It says, walk around using the arrow keys or the mouse. Interact with objects using the space bar or the mouse. Access the menu or go back by using the escape key or by double tapping. Oh, interesting. Oh, <laughs> my guy looks a bit strange. Okay. You decide that you probably shouldn't leave. You don't know for yourself, but something tells you it's raining like hell out there. Okay. Let's move forward. There's a painting here. <clears throat> okay. What about this one? There's a painting here. Very interesting. I always really enjoy the strange absurdity of like the AI-generated art stuff. What do we have here? Another painting here. I like how they even miniaturize them so you know what they generally look like. There's a painting here. Okay, let's go downstairs. Very curious how this game is gonna... gonna go. Hear a little music? What is that? <laughs> Hi. Hello again. <laughs> I see you've found your way from the entrance. It's a shame, but many a soul have gotten lost in our lobby alone. No matter. The name's Charon, mate. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Ah, look at you. The strong, silent type. Tis a shame. Thought I would have someone to keep me comfy. But there's more important things, I guess. I should get to why you're here. So you got word, and now, I'm not sure if it came from upstairs or downstairs, per se. But I got word that these paintings need cleaning. And look, I don't want to do the work myself. Okay. So it's a darn miracle you came along. See, it has been... Well, about 70 years since I've seen someone. So let's just say, your work will be very much appreciated. Well, what you just staring at me for? Oh, I see. You want me to save your game, right? I can do that for you. Oh, sure. And there you go. What else could you want? <laughs> There's my character. Uh, some context, please. <laughs> so you can talk, huh? See, to answer your question, mate. I gotta think, think hard. And that requires effort. See, you haven't really done anything for me at this point. Clean up some of them paintings and it'll be a different story. Remember, I'm always here if you gotta save. Or if you're lonely. <laughs> okay. There's a painting here. Would you like to clean it? Yes, please. Ooh. Oh. Hi. H Hello. Who are you? I don't know. I see. But how do I say it? That makes two of us. See? As for me, I'm... My name is... I forgot. How embarrassing. Anyway, I've been having a problem. Though I cannot remember what the problem was. Oh, I see now. The problem is that I forget things. Well, I do remember something. Behind me lies a maze, which is something especially cruel for someone like me. Can never seem to make it far. But for some reason, I really want to find what lies at the center of it. Now, I forgot exactly why, but... You seem to have the go-getter attitude necessary for such a task. So, could you please help me? Tell me what awaits for me there? 
I'll wait right here so as not to disturb you or anything. Sure, sure, yeah. I'm going to this strange maze. Ooh, I like the music. This is really cool music in here. There's a note here. It reads, forgive me, Ava, for I will see you on the other side. E. Interesting. Oh, this music is awesome. So I was reading in the description that they, they made all the music and everything for this game. So you can even download the soundtrack for this one. I think it's just on the itch page. There's a note here. It reads, I hate you more than anything else in the, this world. E. Oh no. Interesting. Oh, I can't go through that way. This isn't the center, is it? Probably not. This is a this is a really cool kind of concept already. Got another note. There's a note here. It reads, those voices, do you hear them? The ants, do you see them? E. His face looked a little uh a little bit more abstract in that one. Uh, let's go down to this paper. There's a note. It reads, There's one thing for sure. Your thoughts cannot be trusted anymore. E. So my guess is E was her partner, maybe? And she has memory loss or dementia of some sort. There's a note here. It reads, Those nights we spent together. You remember them, don't you? E. Yeah. She had some type of uh, disease that affected her memory. And it's trying to remind her, but it sounds like there might be some resentment as well because of it. Oh, let's go this way. Oh no, I can't go that way, dang it. All right, uh, I think I have to go back down this way. Oh, dang it, <laughs> this really is a maze, okay. I like this so far, though. This is uh, this is fantastic. See how that shapes up, of course. I don't even necessarily want to talk at this point. I just want to enjoy this cool music. All right, this place is huge. Okay, I'm gonna at least get the note on the bottom right. <clears throat> Oh, there's a note. It reads, I love you more than anything else in this world. E. Why oh, has he got dots all over him? Strange. Very strange. Hmm. Hmm. The weird boxes now are changing. More mechanical. There's a note here. It reads, this is Mr. Karabekian. You have found him, or perhaps he has found you. He. Huh. Okay, let's keep going. Actually, can I interact with these? No. Wasn't sure. Did I not get that one? I don't know if I got this one yet. Let's check it out. Ooh. There's a note and it reads, I feel there's a monster growing inside of me. Who knows, the very same could be happening to you. E. Huh. Where's this going? Okay, let's go to this last note. And I think that's technically the center of the maze. This is great. So now and it reads, oh no, the text next to it has been censored. Huh. What the? <laughs> what the F are you doing in here? Uh, no idea, finishing the maze, cleaning a painting. Um, oh, this is weird. Biohazard, keep out. Um, cleaning a painting. Paintings? What in Sam Hell are you talking about? 
Look, I'm the guy who built this deer maze, see? What you're doing right now, well, it's effing it right up. So I'm gonna need you to turn around to where you came from and let me work in peace. Why? <laughs> you young people always with the effing questions. I wish to God I wasn't dead right now because if I was good, sir, I'd strangle you with both of my hands. You're dead? Uh, don't act like you're surprised by it, kid. Everyone here has kicked the bucket, just so uh, some more than others. And I, unfortunately, happen to be among those more so folk. Listen, I don't even think I'm real. The real me is about a thousand miles that away, playing fiddle with the man downstairs, if you know what I mean. But that doesn't mean that the me that's here can't have some fun. See, when I was alive and kicking, I had the misfortune of living with my wife for the last 50 odd years. It wasn't like she was bad or anything either, but you know, even if you have filet mignon for dinner every night, you start hankering for something else. But it's fine, came up with ways to entertain myself. You see, though I passed before my wife, her brain went first. And here's the kicker, I got quite the rise out of it. When it began, I started writing notes and drawings all around the house, see? Some were nice, some were not, all were cryptic. They were poison to her addled brain, but she read them all the same. Soon she would forget which ones she read and which ones she hadn't. Eventually drove her mad. I stopped writing them not long after. My job was done. Boy, the fun I would have watching her wander the house, go up the stairs, read my note, then down again, and do the same thing. Now I get to do the same, but bigger and better. If I have it my way, she'll be wandering this maze for eternity. Pretty great, am I right? <laughs> I'm stopping this. <laughs> well, what are you going to do about it? Listen, I may not know much about this place, but I know this. It's for people who can't move on. She's, God bless her soul, still loves me. And have fun trying to convince her to stop. In my 50 years of threat, uh, treating her how you would expect I did, even I couldn't manage that. Plus, for her to move on, she would have to remember what is happening, right? Not to mention, if you convince her to get out of limbo, I'll be trapped here forever, alone. So don't do it if you have even a smidgen of sympathy for little old me. But I shouldn't worry much. There's a fat chance you'll be able to change anything. I'm just gonna sit here and continue working on making this maze even bigger. <laughs> what? What an a-hole! <laughs> huh. What if there's anything I can interact with in here? Maybe this little basket? No. Okay. Well, we found out what's at the center of the maze, at least. Can I say anything else? You can go ahead and give it to your all, Buster. I'm going to continue working on making this maze even bigger. Okay. Well, <laughs> poor woman. <laughs> Let's go tell her her wife is an absolute terror and garbage human being. Maybe she'll move on. So this is Limbo. Is this Spirit Fair? Are we playing Spirit Fair all over again? Helping people pass into the next life? But in a, a little bit more dark and twisted sense? Hmm. Let's go back to her. Hi. How are you? It's a poor old woman. Did you do it? Did you reach the center of the maze? Yes. I knew you could do it. I'm so proud of you. Well, tell me. Oh, tell me. What was there at the center? Your husband. Oh, really? I don't remember much, but I can never forget my unending love for Elias. What did he say to you? Ooh. He said he loves you. He's toying with you, or he's just an apparition. He's toying with you. The truth. Is he really? So all those notes then, both before and after I... I... He was getting a rise out of my plight. Why would someone do that? I have shown him nothing but love. Some people are evil. Clearly so. I just feel silly, you know? I did so much for him for so long, and now the egg is on my face. You can move on now. You know what? You're right. That'll show him more than anything. I don't see a purpose in staying any longer now. Maybe it's my memory, but the thought of just leaving this place behind never occurred to me. But now it seems like the best thing to do. Thank you, little one. You helped me realize a lot of things. Things that I had long convinced myself were impossible to work out. And most of all, thank you for being honest with me. <gasps> there she goes. Oh, I helped her to move on. 
There's a painting here. Your work with it is complete. Aww. All right, strange head man. What? Oh, 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 looks like you managed to help Ava move on. Congrats, buddy. Though seeing that it was just a maze stroll and a heart to heart, I'm a tad embarrassed I didn't get didn't do the job myself. Nevertheless, the amount of work you saved me is commendable, to say the least. I know you must be chomping at the bit to hear about what's happening to you, so I decided to field some pre-approved questions from you. Now, you've only cleaned one painting, so I won't be too loose-lipped. But you should feel free to talk to me if you want to learn about what's going on. And if you hunger for more info, there's always those other two paintings. Now, what can I help you with? Sure, I'll say my name. <laughs> sure thing, boss. Uh, talk to me. Okay, let's talk, little man. For now, these are my pre-approved conversation topics. Monster trucks. <laughs> Jared's favorite food. Ah, my favorite food. K K K Karen? Karen? Chiron? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't have a favorite food. In fact, I uh, I don't know anything about food. It just sounds sounded like a nice thing for someone to ask me about. Do you mind telling me about food? Maybe you can help me decide. Tell me about pizza, burgers, dumplings, meatloaf, tacos? This is stupid. <laughs> These are all great options. Uh, I'll tell you about dumplings. Mm. A moist ball of filling, sometimes flesh, sometimes vegetables, and wrapped neatly in a flour water wrapper. Sounds good, but I'm not sure if that would be my favorite. You know, pizza's pretty good too. <laughs> Talk to me. Uh, monster trucks. As for monster trucks, I know <laughs> I know nothing about them. <laughs> I would certainly know nothing of Grave Grave Digger with its 540 cubic inch Merlin 100, uh, 1450 horsepower engine and a cone two speed transmission, or the fact that it can often steal the show for my personal favorite, Overkill Evolution. <laughs> Karen, Charon, Charon? I'm just gonna say Charon. Charon seems to know more about monster trucks than he's letting on. <laughs> okay. Well, two more paintings. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one. There's a painting here. Would you like to clean it? Yes, please. Ooh, going into this face. Oh. This is bizarre. There's a drainage pipe here. I see that. There's a keypad here. Intercom here. Another drainage pipe. Oh. Uh, hello? Voice is speaking to you over the intercom. Hello? <laughs> uh, hello? Hello, hello? I'm just messing with you. This is a recording. Listen, you. I have designed this place with full intention of keeping people out. I take the very fact that you're standing here as a failure, a big one. But there's nothing I can do about that now. Except this. Behold! My super mega awesome security system. See, I found a way to let only my loved ones through here. Not to say that anyone has been visiting lately, but that doesn't matter. Look, to get to me, you'll have to answer riddles, hard ones. Whoever you are, there's no way you're getting through. <laughs> I bet you're real scared right now. Well, I'm not gonna hold it in any longer. Here's the first riddle. You ready? Yes. Well, it doesn't matter if you're ready or not. So here's the riddle. This is someone this someone is my grandma's child, and my grandpa's child as well. But, they are nobody's son. Who is this someone? Input your answer in the keypad to the left of the door. Do it! Do it now! If you mess it up, I'm gonna kick you out! As you recall, the riddle went like this. There is someone who is my grandma's child, and my grandpapa's child as well. But they're nobody's son. Who is this someone? Wait, <laughs> I I want to read it again. <laughs> Someone is my grandma and grandpa's son, child, but nobody's son. My daughter. Here's your answer was wrong. Tee, <laughs> you're wrong. Get out of here. Ah, dang it. <laughs> ah, let's do it again. <laughs> It's probably the nephew. There's a keypad here. Oh, I have to do this whole thing again. Oh, I do this. <laughs> oh, I didn't read the first one. Well, I guess you're not gonna stop trying to get through. So back to the riddle. Here it is. This is so this someone is my grandma's child and my grandpapa's child as well. 
Just kidding, you really thought I was gonna use the same riddle all over again? Oh no, no, no. If I did that, you could have looked the answer up on the internet. Or you could have guessed correctly after getting it wrong the first time. No, what I'm gonna do instead is give you a new riddle. <laughs> Get ready, cause here it is. My painting and my doll cost 1,500 in total. Take it. 1,500, one five. The painting cost a thousand more than the doll. Okay. Now, how much does my doll cost? Okay. 1,500 in total. Do it, do it now! Doll cost, uh... What is it, 250? Yeah, doll cost 250. The door unlocked. <laughs> you, you got the answer? But how? That's fine, I guess. But you wouldn't get through the next room. You'll find it behind the big door. Oh, the big door. Hello, big door. Hello? <laughs> if you're listening to this, that means you made it through the first room. I have no clue how you did that. You must be either really smart or the person I'm looking for. But could you, could you be her? Whatever, enough of that. We are moving on to the next riddle. Are you ready? Of course you are. Now here it is. A cloud is my mommy. The wind is my papa. When I grow up, streams and rivers will be sons of my own. And I guess that makes fruits and veggies my daughters. When I die, you'll find me in the dirt. That's if I die though. Remember, you put your answer in the keypad to the left of the door. Do it, do it now. <laughs> if you mess this up, I'm gonna kick you out. Huh. All right, let's, let's listen to this riddle again. A cloud is my mother. The wind is my father. So it's a breeze. The air. When I grow up, streams and rivers will be sons of my own. I'm thinking it might be a plant. When I grow up, streams and rivers will be sons of my own. That makes fruits and veggies my daughters. When I die, you'll find me in the dirt. That's if I die though. Now who am I? Suddenly a thought appears in your head. You're about to see the, the text input screen. Select your inputs using the cursor. Backspace can be utilized by pressing the escape key or by double tapping if you're on mobile. Oh. So it's not a tree. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Shoot, what would this be? The clouds are my mother, the wind is my father. When I grow up, the streams will be my brothers. And fruits and veggies are my sisters. When I die, I will become dirt. That is, if I die, what am I? Rain. Rain. Make no. Let's go, the door unlocked. <laughs> you got the answer? But how? <laughs> That's fine, I guess. But you won't get through the next room. You'll find it behind the big door. Oh, that was great. <laughs> oh, this room's a little, uh, a little sketchy. It appears there's a hammer here. Would you like to pick it up? Yes, you obtained a hammer. For you. There's a note here in what appears to be a metal plate panel. It reads, for you. Looking at the metal panel, it appears to be nailed down quite tightly. Would you like to use the back of your hammer to remove the nails? Sure. It looks like there's a message written in a very tiny script beneath the panel. No matter how hard you try, you aren't able to read it. Interesting. There's a drainage pipe here. There's a photo here with a note. It says you. It reads, you. It's his daughter, maybe? It appears the frame is fastened to the back with nails. Would you like to use the back of the hammer to remove them? Sure. For some reason, there looks to be a grabber that was hidden in the painting. Oh. 
You decided to take it. You obtained a grabber. Well, there's something in here. There's a drainage pipe here. You can see something hidden deep inside of it. With a grabber, you should be able to get it. Reach in the drainage pipe? Yes. Come on. You got this. Your grabber closes around a cold and slick metal object. You obtained a magnifying glass. Oh, cool. Looking at the message seems... It seemingly can't be read without visual aid. Would you like to use your magnifying glass to read the text? Yes. You are barely able to make out the words. It reads, the password is 6174. I love you. Mm -hmm. The intercom is mysteriously silent. Hey, you. This isn't a recording anymore. You're talking to the real me. I want to be honest with you. There are no riddles anymore. This door is going to stay locked. I'm sorry. But if you are who I hope you are, let this be a puzzle. Like the ones we always did. Please, come rescue me. Hmm. 6174. Suddenly a thought appears in your head. 6174. The door unlocked. Let's see who this is. Hey! You. You're not her, aren't you? That's okay, though. Because I, I have the real her right here. Look, look! Uh. Who is her? I won't say that's a doll. She, she's, she's... I had a feeling someone like you would come. You want to pull me out of this place, right? Tell me, why are you here? To clean your painting. Clean my what now? Well, whatever your reason, I'm staying put right here, planting my feet right down. See, I have unfinished business in this river, and I'm going to stay as long as it takes for me to deal with it. Well, what happened? Listen, mister. As you may know, I really like puzzles. Love them to death. This love came from someone very special in my life. My mother. Every Sunday, she would sit me in her lap and we would do crossword together. Not to mention those checkers games or big jigsaws that would take up our entire floor. Our favorite game, though, that was Marco Polo. You know, the one where you both get in the water and one calls out Marco, the other says Polo, and you gotta find each other. Some people wouldn't call it a puzzle, but most people are losers. It totally is one. Playing it in that big river downhill from our house, there was nothing better to do. And then, one day... Then what? Then? Then one day, I wanted to play Marco Polo and start all the way at the bottom of the river. I was so far away, it was a miracle I could still hear my mom's voice. It took me half an hour to even get close. But when that happened, when I went up the river, my mom's voice changed. Or maybe I was not hearing it right the whole time. It sounded, well, it sounded like my dad's voice. Now, I don't think that was a big issue. My dad, I saw him sometimes. He seemed nice. But yes, as I got closer, I realized it was my dad. I got up right next to him and I opened my eyes. I asked him where mom was and he said, with her new friend. I asked what he meant. He said I would see her soon anyways. Then he grabbed my arms Grabbed them real hard, I could feel his nails. I asked him why he was doing that, and he said, Relax, it's just a game. Then he pushed me under the water and held me down there for a really long time. A really, really long time. In that moment, I thought of the darndest things. I thought of the games I played before, and the ones I would never get to play. I thought of my mama. But most of all, I couldn't stop thinking about my dad's eyes. They were wide open, but he was staring right through me. It's like he was daydreaming, thinking about a place far, far away. And then, just like that, I woke up here. It was lonely at first, but now I have her and my puzzles, just like I used to. Now the only thing left is to wait for my real mama. Oh. <laughs> then we'll start playing together, and pick up where we left off. That is why you can't make me leave this place. 
the newest puzzle of mine. It is yet to come to an end. Well, what do you think? <laughs> this is sad. <laughs> you are dead. She must also be dead. I can help you move on. This must be like just a little kid. <sighs> what do we say? I don't want to be honest, like too blunt. I think I can help you move on. I'm sad. Can you? Can you really? I just can't see how I can leave when my papa is still out there. With those eyes of his. Ah, that's why the eyes were floating in the last place. I don't know why, but the thought of that makes my skin crawl. And... And my mama. I miss her. I miss her a lot. Can't I just wait here for them? So I can sort things out? He will be punished. You'll see her again. Let's be positive. Really? Is there a place after this where I can do that? I'll say yes, friend. That, 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 that makes me happy. Listen, mister, I think I've decided now. I'm gonna leave all this. Leave it all behind. There's better places for me to be. And I think... I think that, well, me staying here, staying all mad and sad, I have a feeling that that is what my papa wanted all along. I shouldn't let him control me like that. Well, that should be it. Mister, I can't thank you enough. Oh. The doll's gone too. Just a little palm tree. Huh. So sad. <laughs> I was like tearing up a little bit. All right, well, let's head back. Because I gotta go through. Yeah, there's the eyes. In the blood room makes a lot more sense now. Dang. Oh, there's the doll. It appears the doll from before has moved into this room somehow. Its mouth is beginning to move. Tech. Tech. The doll isn't moving anymore. Strange. There's a painting here. Your work with it is complete. Oh. Feel sad. Hi. Oh, looks like you managed to help the little one move on. Must say, I didn't think you had it in ya. That kid was a real sob story. Glad I didn't have to get involved. You know, I'm uncomfortable around that kind of stuff. <laughs> But anyway, you really took a load off of my shoulders by doing that. I'm feeling like we could be very good friends. And you know what friends do for each other? That's right, they give exposition. I think it's finally time I begin to tell you what's going on. So feel free to talk to me about it. Now, what can I help you with? Uh, let's save first. Sure thing, boss. Talk to me. Is there anything you want to learn about? For now, these are my pre-approved conversation top topics. Who Charon is? Hmm, <laughs> that is certainly an interesting question to ask. Let me put it this way. Maybe in another life, the Charon you would know, uh, you know, would be the captain of a boat. Not a big boat, mind you. I can't say I'm a freighter kind of guy. <laughs> but maybe a canoe, a long one. Oh, this is, it's exactly, this is Spiritfarer. Uh, and on this canoe, I'd take people around, bring them where they need to be. I feel like that sums it up pretty well. <laughs> uh, what? what this place is. <laughs> Could ask the same question myself. Look, I do know this. There is an upstairs and a downstairs in this world. But if you noticed when you came in, you were sent to every which way, down, up, and down again. See this place? It's somewhere in between. It's for people whose fates are somewhat hard to decide. <laughs> no endless hellfire and no heavenly banquets either. It's no wonder a place like this is so stock still. A little boring, if you ask me. Interesting. So this is the purgatory, the in-between. Oh, I didn't realize there was another painting. Hoi! Yes? That painting over there. It's a dangerous one. I would save with me before you head in. <laughs> Lest you risk losing everything. I did just save, but I'll save again. Why not? Sure thing, buddy. Save my game. Sure thing, boss. Whom? So this is a dangerous man, is it? Let's see. I would like to clean this painting, yes. Oh! There's a placard on the wall. In the middle of this place, you'll find the emergency generator. Your journey begins there. See. Hmm, who might... 
There's a locker here. Would you like to rummage around inside of it? It appears the lockers on each side of the wall were connected and you emerged on the other side. Oh, cool. So we're in a hospital. Strange. So we need to get to the center. That's where our journey will begin. Door seems to require four keys and you are still missing at least some of them. There's a placard on the wall. Herein lies the nursery. Whatever lies inside must be kept and protected. To enter, four keys are needed. Alhuns, Arafdu, Al Tasib, and Al Gadabu. See. Sorry if those are words that I butchered. I'm not sure if that was actual nonsense though. There's a pile of trash here. It's too dark to see what's inside of it. Ah, okay. So I need to turn on the generator first. It would seem. Looks like you need a key card to get in. Okay. Strange. Oh, when you were in the locker, you brushed past a small plastic object. You obtained a key card. Oh, cool. Yes, let's go back through and I can go into the middle now. Use the key card. Cool. This is great. Can't interact with that. This appears to be a generator of some sort. Would you like to turn it on? Yes, please. It appears the emergency lights have come on. That sound, it came from outside. Is this where the horror game aspect comes in? Oh. Oh my god! I was not expecting that. Your hand closed around a small metal object. You chain one key. Okay, we got another key. Oh, I'm terrified now. Where is this thing? Got another key. Oh, I hate it. Oh, the last one should just be up here, right? It's just right here, just right here, just right here. Yes, last key. Okay, let's open it. Oh, we got all four. Use the, all the keys. <laughs> meat room. <laughs> I don't want to be in the meat room. This is weird. This is weird. Guy's a little, uh, a little insane, it would seem. This music's really cool, though. <laughs> okay, what is this creepy thing gonna be like? Maybe they're a murderer or something? Something terrible? Who? Who are you? Get a little closer, kid. So I can see you. I'm gonna stay where I am. Suit yourself. <coughs> Who are you? I am really effed up. I'm here to help. <laughs> I had a nickel every time I had heard that, heard that, I'd, I'd have a lot of nickels. See, the type of people who say that crap, well, they're not the type of people that did the same things I did. I, it's one of those takes on, takes one to know one sort of things. <clears throat> what made you like this? That's a good question. What is my country? Was it my country or was it me? I guess you're the first other person I've ever seen in here. Maybe I uh, owe you an explanation. I am, was, a soldier. The kind where you had to shoot people. I 
can't even remember why I became one. I think it's because my dad was one, and his dad was one. God, I didn't even think... Maybe it was those games I played. The, the old ones, with the chips and chirps, and the one-man armies who would overcome all odds to slaughter hundreds. I, I think you should already know that it's not like that in real life. The people barely making by, fighting with scrap and determination against a force that shoved a boot down their throats. Well, they're the ones we shot with high-powered explosive rounds miles away in the sky. But still, I found a way to justify things. They drew first blood. Look at all the cruel things they do. And on and on. Listen, do you know what we were told to do when a moving vehicle entered our sights? Go take pot shots at them. We said it was, uh, we said that it was okay. They knew these roads were off limits. And we always promised to shoot at the ground in front of them first. None of that was true. And do you want to know the worst thing? I enjoyed all the killing. When I'd hit someone a mile away going really fast, the guys next to me would pat me on the back and smile. Good job. It wasn't much different than a game. And that was just the beginning. Sh shooting these drivers who were just trying to leave made the people there mad. So they threw rocks at us and then threw explosives too. We responded by kidnapping nearly every man there in the middle of the night. After that, well, a friend of mine showed me a picture. In it, they had made a pyramid of naked, shivering, dying prisoners. They were standing behind them, smiling. Taking the photo into my hand, I felt as if I was staring into hell itself. Even then, though, there was this part of me. This part of me that bubbled up from inside. It reveled in the suffering of these people. I felt they deserved it. What was inside of me, it was a monster, no doubt. And it was beginning to split away felt I had no choice. I downed a bottle of liquid that made my throat burn and took a drive in the mountains. But that is the last thing I remember. It's no wonder, then, that I'm in a place like this. <coughs> what about you, though? I've talked long enough. I feel like it's your turn. Why are you here? Look at you, that silent face. Do you even know? I don't know. I appreciate your honesty, at least. Listen, I can help you figure out what's going on. I believe that. Mm. I believe that we were all that we all were sent here to figure things out for ourselves. That's what is happening, and I can tell in terms of fate, we are no different from one another. Take that as you will. <coughs> it's funny. You're the first person I've seen in what seems like a lifetime. But after this, I feel I have nothing left to say to you. Actually, I do have one thing to ask. Do you see that machine to my left? I don't know for sure, but I have a feeling that's been what, uh, been what has kept me alive all this time. I don't like it here, so I would have shut the thing off a long time ago. However, as you may be able to see, I can't move around very much, so I haven't really been able to do that. So do you think you'll be able to shut the machine off? Let me move on to what ever's in store for me next. Of course, it's your choice whether or not you wanted to let me exit this thing gracefully. I'm not really in a position to force your hand. Just do what you do. <laughs> do what you feel is right. Oh. <laughs> Call the nurse. Do you see? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Thank you. Who's this time to go? Wow, what a tragedy. Horrors of war nobody ever talks about. So sad what so many people are have to go through. Or what people I know it's not obviously the case of every person in in war, but there are there are some messed up people in war. Hmm. The music really does add to kind of everything that happens in this game. It's really, really quite something here.
Oh, no. <laughs> no? Yes? I don't know. What? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what? The other me. He must be gone now. Oh. That was the monster inside of himself. And the one on the table was, I think, the last bit of his... Oh, that was the last bit of his, um... I guess, purity or, or whatever the child in inside of himself. Ah, oh, dang. Oh, I can't go through. Okay. Man, what a what a game so far. There it is. It's a painting here. Your work with it is complete. Very interesting. All right. Hello. I see the monster has moved on. Listen, as you may already know, I very willingly put you at great risk of losing life and limb just now. But, and this is a big but, I did it with good reason. See, you may think I'm some kind of lazy bum, but I was once a spring chicken like you. Back then, I tried to clean that darn painting myself. However, as soon as I reached a point where I knew that staying any longer would certainly result in my death, if that were to happen, who would be here to guide people along, save their game, and give them moral encouragement? Nobody. And look at where that choice brought me. You're able to get that poor soul to move on, and all with my help. Now, I know you may still be very justifiably angry at me right now, and I want to assure you your feelings are valid. However, I think I know of a way I can make it up to you. I'll tell you about things I never tell anyone who steps foot in here. And that isn't just because you're the first one to survive that painting, mind you. Just give me a talking if you're interested. I would absolutely be interested, but first, let's save the game. Talk to me. Who are you? You. You're really making me think hard, pal. See, when someone walks in here, it's not like I know all about them. I have this feeling of what they did, their past, but it's just that, a feeling. <clears throat> Let me put it this way. Do you know when, when you wake up, you remember your dream, but only parts of it? In those parts, what you do remember, sometimes they can be real hazy. Well, it's like that. All I have is this collection of bits and bobs, and they're all muddied up. But I can try to make sense of them for you, because you're my friend. Well, let's see. You're a person who likes to figure out what's up from down. A detective, perhaps, or maybe just someone who likes puzzle games. You're always in for a good fright, too. And you sought out things that were strange. That is all. Hmm. Interesting. What your purpose is. Ah. The toughest question of them all. I don't even know what my purpose is, man. How am I going to know yours? Well, I guess I'm the one who put this down as a conversation topic. And you are my friend now. I figure I do owe you at least an attempt at explaining this stuff. My guess is, your purpose isn't too different than those of the people you dealt with. See, uh, how do I put this? Time is solid here. This place has a habit of keeping people still and silent, letting the days blend together. Until they are able to move on, that is. And while you think that you're different, I don't know. You very well might be in a standstill of your own. But I have an inkling that there's a way out of it, just like there was for the people in these paintings. And I also have an inkling that, well, you know exactly what to do next. What I'm saying is this, friend. If we don't see each other on the other side, I bid you farewell. I've had a hell of a time helping you out. I like that. Okay. Yeah, I think I know what to do. It's the last painting. Is this myself? It's probably myself, isn't it? I hear whispers. There's a painting here. Would you like to clean it? Yes. And it is. It's me. You recognize the painting very, very well. Just like before, a small voice seems to be calling to you from within. It says, The end. Ah. 
Oh, that was great. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh, that was oh, that was so good. Wait, what is the carry on option? Oh, okay. Just resuming any progress. Hour 57. Oh, that's when I'm recording this. Uh, no, that's not when I'm recording this. I don't know what that time means. Very strange. Yeah, it's, uh, very loud music. Yeah, that was fantastic. Uh, very emotional journey. Very thought provoking as well. So much was done in, in this little RPG maker game. The use of this music, the AI generated art, and just this little story was so well put together and you really felt bad for that grandma at first. I already forgot her name. Um, so bad at remembering names. You feel really bad for the grandma and what her her husband put her through. Second one, they're all they're all tragedies. They're all tragedies. The second one, the the kid who was drowned in the river by his own dad, him and his mom both drowned. That one, that one really kind of got me emotional. I, I, <laughs> I got a little choked up on his story, but um, he just wanted to see his mom again. And the final one is this, this war terror, um, who was doing unspeakable things, and he finally felt the guilt and decided to end things. Um, and it seems like he he probably took some type of poison or something. That's why he's coughing in this this afterlife thing, but we're, we're all bringing them all to the next, their next life, whatever it may be. Um, very, very cool. Really glad I got a chance to play this and um, definitely makes sense why so many people were really, I uh, really, I just looked at some of the comments and people were like, this is a masterpiece. This is incredible. Like this was such a great game. Thank you for making this. Um, I see why it was very great. But I'd love to hear what you all think about this one. Uh, time is solid here. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear any thoughts and feelings from you all. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification. That we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you're not sick and tired of me, you'd like to see any more videos uh, or any other content, follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, got a Discord channel, and a bunch of other cool things. Always listen in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.